St. Mary's, we celebrate this Mass for Friday, the tenth, uh, tenth week in ordinary time. Let's pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. We gather together around God's altar, and let us pause and call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your word brings teaching and healing into our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your sacraments bear us strength. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Help us to let go of our selfishness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you. And lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb. Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him. Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance to the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, but the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Heziel as king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king of Israel, and Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Abel-Meholah, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks. You my glance seeks. I call to you in your presence, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I call to you in your presence, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is with you. The being the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Then Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members 
than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It's also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Indeed, now Elijah has fled, you know, for the weaklings are seeking the lives of all of the prophets who have tried to represent God to the people. And he flees to Mount Horeb looking for God's presence, expecting it to come. And, you know, various things happen. We have the, the wind crushing the rocks. We have an earthquake. We have fire. We have all of these different things. And yet God is in none of them. You know. But he comes in the tiny whispering sound to Elijah to tell him what to do next. You know, there are many times in our lives you know, where we long to communicate with God. And, you know, we complain you know, bitterly that you know, God doesn't hear me, he doesn't answer me. You know, he's not listening. You know, we don't know though how we have truly sought him. He may not have come in the dramatic fashion that we wanted. He may not have come with the dramatic answer that we desired. But he might have come before us in the simplest of circumstances, you know, offering us a solution, offering us a way out. But we missed it because of our own blindness or our own expectations. You know, with God, we can place no expectations but only all of our hopes only all of our tears, only all of our joys, you know, and he will make of them what he will for us. But we have to, you know, deepen that sense of relationship with him, you know, through looking for him in the unexpected, in the uncertain, and seeing where he seeks to guide us. are for our prayers of today, for those who approach in silence the holy mystery beyond all words, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who look for God in the wonder of nature and diversity of creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord for, for those who have not yet known God's unique love for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord for, for those who seek shelter from the unforgiving storms of poverty and injustice, we pray to the Lord. For long, those who long to experience God's nearness and care in their illness, especially victims of COVID, we pray to the Lord. Lord for our brothers and sisters in Karkas and Haiti, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who await the whispering voice summoning them to life, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us add all our prayers. Come to us, God, beyond us, and whisper your saving word. May we listen in the silence to receive you and go forth to share your work. This we ask in Jesus' name. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, dear goodness, receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work given hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, work in hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God's prayer. So pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. Look 
finally upon your service, our service, O Lord, we pray. What we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, in Jesus the Christ, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. So with all the angels and saints we praise you, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth. You are indeed a holy Lord, the font of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and willing to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similarly, in supper was then ate with the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy of being your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all your holy people. Remember, Joe Schmelich and all of our family and our friends that died. Bring them only at peace in the light of your face. And have mercy on all of us, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. It is through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, follow me, and with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus commands us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. First Lord, we pray for every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be free from sin and safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of our Lord, and the power of The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with you and your spirit. Let us share in that peace. The Lamb of God. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the call of the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to take you to heaven under my roof, but only take the word and my soul shall be Body and blood of Jesus, keep us safe for eternal life.
peace, justice, and equality throughout our world, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful day.